So, uh, on my end of things, uh, you know, as we begin, um, not a lot to update, mostly just been working on the beast area, adding some new monsters, editing a lot of the old ones, so they are up to uh, the same standard as the uh, uh, more recent monsters. Um, also been doing some work with the downtime rules as well, I'm going through that. Um, a lot of my time this week has been taking up with uh, midterms and uh, a new project that I've been working on as a part-time gig. So this week has been fairly busy on my end. So I don't really have too much to update, but uh, the Beast Dairy should be coming out with an update soon as nearly at the point where it's, it's good for another drop. Um, that all said, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, now yeah, contract drop should be should be an update soon. Um, mine's blanking a little bit, but uh, do we have anything to update? Like, anything to note? <laughs> no, no, no loot boxes. There might be like an end character gambling hall, but no, like no, no loot boxes. Maybe loot boxes and the gambling hall. <laughs> I mean, if they're in character, sure. But they'd be like, you know, in game currency. Not out of game currency. What if we fill them with false items that don't actually work? <laughs> Oh, uh, that, that's one of the things I've been working on with the downtime rules, actually. Because it kind of coincides with a non-gambling or non-downtime rule version of it, so... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, though, uh... I, I don't have a lot to update this week. I was hoping I was going to be able to get some work done uh, yesterday, but then I forgot that our game was actually on and not cancelled, so there was that. Some, like, uh, some decent solid work, that is. Not, like, scattered intermittent work. Yeah. It's true. Um, it's true. I guess technically he's just going over some of the Eldaria stuff, but that I don't think it's done yet, so we're... Mm -hmm. After looking through what's been completed so far on the regional end, it appears that of the four currently planned regions we've got two that are fully functional slash pending balance, those being Dolider and Beresia, and Arlogas has the basic stuff but still needs refining from a lead, and Eldaria is actually heavily incomplete but I'm working on that at the moment. Mm. Uh, what does Arlogas actually still need? I guess I can go check the trailer. No, I completely forgot about the Trello. We should have that pinned in Firehouse. I did as well. I... Uh, I so I didn't forget out. about it, but I did lose the link to it. And I'm just like, ah, shit, how do we get back here? <laughs> Let me just type Trello in my Google search bar and I can find it there. But I can, but I can just log in and find it. Yeah, unfortunately, because uh, the Trello has not been super active, it's also not super up-to-date, because I believe Arlogus actually does have factions made, correct? It should have, yeah. Yeah. yeah do you have a better idea of what Arlogus actually still needs uh, legacy, and I can maybe work on that? Here we go. Found the Trello. Huzzah. Copy the link. I'm gonna go and post that link into Firehouse. Okay. I'll Let's... toss the details on the Trello later, but our logass needs the main storyline prepared, I believe. I've only been able to find the primary lore document, but there were only ideas for a main storyline. 
I know they had a bunch of stuff posted in the actual DM corner, so that might be where most of the stuff is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If uh, your your thoughts on Elderia lacking information, um, if that involves the main storyline, then I won't worry too much about that. I just need to put it to paper. But you know, I, I still need to make factions for Eldaria. Yeah. Oh, uh, somewhat related to world stuff. Um, I know we actually talked about like how Bruges specifically was cut up, uh, mm -hmm. duchy wise. Um, did you need me to do a map of that, or? Uh, it's it should be on the map list already. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, I mean, uh, on Thursday, if you ever look at the world map, it's already split up. Or actually, I don't know if you guys can if you can see that on. Like, I know I can see it. Uh, as far as I know, we can only see the settlements. Gotcha. And okay, obviously, then I, other points of interest. I probably had the duchy borders in uh, hidden layer. Then let me go and just grab that. Yeah, I wasn't sure because obviously it's not on the world anvil either. Mostly because it's just you know here's Bruges. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I do intend to uh, have a region-specific map for each region, uh, which will show, like, the different borders and different, like, more detailed terrain features. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I have not yet finished some of those maps. So Bruja has been worked on about halfway, um, as has, uh... Elderia, I believe I'd have to look Arlog right Ass does have their origins fully prepared. Also, Elderia is lacking information is actually just the whole thing from the looks of things, because it's missing factions, hard history outside of the general information, origins, details on the marked cities. So both lore and mechanically it's incomplete. From the sound of things you have a plan for the main story currently. Yeah, no, for, uh, for Elderia, I, I have a plan for the main story. Um, as for deeper lore, um, as with most things, while I do have an idea of the deeper lore, and by idea, I mean I have a pretty solid foundation, a lot of it is, you know, in my head, not in paper. Uh, that all said, for a living world start, it's not something that we need to have fully written down, but it's something that would be nice to have fully written down. Because if people are going deep lore stuff for Elderia, well, oh boy, that's some uh, higher tier stuff. Yeah, anyways, though, it'd be very nice to have. So I probably should uh, add that to my firehouse as well. Yeah. Anyways, I was going to do a thing. Um... To shreds, you say? Yes, yes, indeed. You know, a deep lore is uh, very much a non-priority for me for uh, launch. It is something that would be nice to have on paper, but like if if you look at any other campaign setting, uh, generally what you have for launch is a basic blurb about the region, and that's literally it. So anything beyond that, anything that even the stuff we have right now on World Anvil is kind of above and beyond what most not even deep lore have. actually. It's more just like general information comparatively to any of the other regions. Even Arlogas is in a more written out state. Elderia currently is largely the concepts. I know when we had people working on Elderia, they were focusing more on the cities, and I know there were some city mm. write-ups, but are you uh including what's on World Anvil? Because uh, it does have a lot of information on World Anvil. So if, if you're talking about like the lore document, then yeah, that is exceedingly lackluster. But it does have a a full write up on World Anvil. I'm on the wrong map. Yeah, I would, I would probably also throw this stuff into the lore document, or just so that we have a place to reference that outside of World Anvil. Fair, fair. I shall do the thing, Julie. 
Control T on this. Now that's disgusting. Okay. Anyways, uh, what I was talking about while they prep their next little bit. This. The, these are the uh, the border regions of or the uh, the different duchies and whatnot of uh, yeah. Perugia. So you know, here's a. Uh, these are uh, yeah, these are baronies. So the smaller line is barony. Thicker line are duchies. So that's a duchy. That's the free city state. Uh, that's a duchy. That's a duchy. That's a duchy. And that's a duchy. Oh wow! Wow! So fancy. Yeah. Yeah. The World Anvil is the largest source currently, which is why I was talking with Sithums earlier before the meeting to start figuring out some of the Barasia integrations. On the Google Docs side there's half of one city, and nothing for the other three, so that's the main thing that needs at least some describing and fleshing out for even launch. Ah uh, yes, yeah, cities. I always forget about fucking city. No, yeah, okay, that's fair. Also, I find it funny. Uh, I go to... List. Oh, there is World Anvil page. Their capital is called Scourge. And I'm like, how how does their country have evil or sending cities that Perusia? <laughs> you know, uh, a lot of uh, the city names within uh, Elderia, they're based off of titles or... Uh, what, what's the word for it? Uh, titles or English... Not English, but, you know, common tongue translation. Uh of draconic uh, beings. Uh. Are we the baddest? <laughs> Alright, uh, cities of Elderia. Lore. Transfer. Or not transfer. Duplicate. Lore. Um. World Anvil to Google Sheets. Or Google Drive. There we go. Uh, and I don't know if this was taken into account in, uh, A, your lore writer for Odaria, and obviously going forward with the cities. Um, but as part of the discussions with the original Eldaria team, we had discussed that um, the city of Inferno and the surrounding regions, I mm -hmm. believe it was Inferno, um, were actually part of Perugia up until the war concluded where they were taken over by Eldaria. Uh, from my knowledge, I believe that was uh, indeed Inferno. Because Inferno is like, directly on the border right next to Karstein. It would make since it was previously a uh, Perusian settlement. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that was included, because that yeah. was something that wasn't... That would probably be fine, since it's currently planned as a military key point. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, yeah, at the moment it has been heavily militarized, which would make sense, again, for why it was previously a uh, Perusian settlement. It was the reason for the whole war to start in the first place, because, you know, Perugia was trying to <laughs> resurrect the vampires and turn them into undead slaves. Yes. Just, you know, just resurrect the, these, these, the Eurotron dragon. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of something that should be done for launch, though, um, and you're free to do this, and, you know, anyone of you, uh, is to go through the different cities and core features that you think players would want to RP in and make an RP channel of it with a blurb uh, above it, like in its description. So like, you know, going to Karstein, grabbing a blurb about what it's like, putting that into a Karstein channel into Brucia. Uh, that's something that should be done. Yeah, I also just need to add the other version RP channel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so is there city lore on World Anvil? For Aldiria, I looked no. through it and couldn't even find Scourge, which was a bit part of why I was concerned about Eldaria's starting state versus the other three. Yeah, no, uh, uh, Aldiria doesn't have uh, city lore on World Anvil. Uh, a lot of the lore is just in my mind and I need to put it to paper. So, you know. It's one of those things where I'm a banana and forget. Which is why it's now in Firehouse. Uh huh. Also, I probably should put uh, factions of Adelia in Firehouse as well, just so I uh, don't forget about them too, because I feel like I'm going to forget about them. That all said, anyone else is free 
to work on these things. Um, if you do work on it, just, you know, let me know so I can take it off my to-do list. Connections of Elderia. That is something else that needs to be finished by launch, because that is something that we 100% do need for launch. What's up, wait, do you have factions planned for Elderia already? Or just general factions? For Elderia, I have planned a crusading faction. I also have planned a mage guild faction. And by a crusading faction, I don't mean like a uh, specifically military tied one, but a kind of like an adventuring Which guild, is? but uh, not not fully adventuring guild. Yeah, it's, it's, they, they have a specific purpose. That purpose is to uh, reclaim their lost relics. Yes. Yeah, no, uh, the Mage Guild faction is going to be a pretty, pretty uh, prominent one. It's true! Except for everyone expects it. They've been here the whole time. Why didn't you expect it? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, actually, on the topic of the Eldarian Mages Guild, if that ends up being one of the factions, um, there was some idea with them interlinking with uh, Berusian elements. Um, I don't know if that would be more of a NPC side of things or actually related to the faction proper. But I do know, again, in the original discussions with the Adarian team was that uh, we wanted to, or there was one city that was very much uh, pro, let's stop occupying Berugia. <laughs> and they were related to the Mages Guild. But again, that's, that's old mm -hmm. stuff, so obviously it can be changed. So. Yeah, yeah. Is it uh, specifically overarching Mage's Guild, do you remember, or is it was it like a faction within the Mage's Guild? Um, I don't think we any, had any specifics at the time. It was more of a the Mage's Guild of the particular city. I want to say it was um, I, I don't remember the names, but basically they were just kind of like an anti-war faction mm -hmm. uh, and they wanted to more or less stop occupying Berugia, maybe uh, because they wanted to share more uh, magic secrets with Bruja and perhaps other yeah. elements from within the country. Mm. All right. Again, if, if it's... Yeah, if it's a single faction uh, within the Mage's Guild, it's probably the Necromantic faction. Simply because, I mean, you know, it's kind of in the nose there, but uh, if it is the entire faction that is interested in the war closing, I can also see it to a lesser extent. And that could be a reason why the factions, the religious and the magic factions are currently butting heads. Yeah. I mean, obviously we can do whatever we want with it. I've not yeah. written up anything in regards to it, so there's nothing locked in in that respect. Yeah. And right now it's kind of just like wheels a turning well, of, of I'm it. I'm fine with taking over as Elderia ahead for the time being so you can focus on our logas. Although I think Sithums will be assisting for getting that up to spec for launch at least. Mm. Logas does need a head for active management when things get running. I'll need to ask you about how you want Elderia handled though, since it sounds like you have a few planned concepts for the region outside of what's on the world anvil slash been talked about previously. Yeah. And no problem. I mean, any help for it is appreciated, so... Um, but yeah, no, just message me and I can respond when I can with, with my answers. <laughs> no, the, uh, the leader of the Mages Guild of Eldiri is most certainly not a fighter. That would be funny if they were. But Oblivion has taught me that the guild leader of every faction is a fighter. <laughs> I mean, the lore is being created as we speak. Okay, new lore. Head of the uh, Eldarian Mages Guild is a fighter. <laughs> oh, actually, 
Actually, that doesn't remind me. I do need to do up the faction leaders for the Verusian factions. No, no, no. You don't understand. It's an Eldridge knight. <laughs> he casts this. Now the uh, leader of the uh, Mage's Guild is a Dragon Disciple. <laughs> it's a fancy way to say fighter. <laughs> Technically, it's a fancy way of saying a druid that can shapeshift into a dragon, but you know. Potato potato. Shapes it into a dragon to fight things. I don't know. Sounds like a fighter to me. Well, I mean, if you're transmuted, you're going to be combat focused. Kind of what you What's do. A dragon used to fight? It's claws. It's... Fighters use fists. You know, I, I guess in a roundabout <laughs> way, I, the um, leader of the Major Guild is technically a fighter. We got there. So long as we all understand this, we can move on from this topic. If anyone has any problems, please refer to the previous statement of if the answer is no, change the answer. <laughs> mm. Alright then. But yeah, no, uh, I, I didn't have too much to discuss, so anything else, Legacy? Bring up to note so I can add to my firehouse so I do not forget. Up. Also outside of regions department, preparing is going all right on the writing end, although I'll need to talk to the individual departments once that's finished to finalize the role and department cleanup. NPC and RP events is an important one which we've already figured out most of the basics from last meeting, mm -hmm. so I'll try and prioritize talking about it with Sky once things are ready. Um, I think for RP events and the like, we definitely should have some pre-planned. Just kind of like what we were doing with the uh, the overarching stories, having it pre-planned. Um, but having it set up for launch, like uh, pre-launch, uh, that's not something we need to you know, actually run events for. Uh, if you're wanting to run community events, I'm all for that. Uh, but like actual canon RP events, uh, that should be prepped for and ready for the first week or so, where we're not actually having missions, we're just doing like RP. That should be something that we should have, but uh, that'll be at launch. <laughs> it is a bane in a cursed existence. I mean, NPC writing is really easy. You literally can just go to Kasoon NPC generator, generate a couple of times, and then modify it to fit your what you're needing, and then there you go. Like, if, if it's a adventuring NPC, they allow you to make random adventuring classes as well. So it's, if you're ever needing an NPC on the fly, go to Kasoon. And if you want someone who's, like, more important, more, like, in-depth of an NPC, you can use it as a baseline, but you probably should go more in-depth with them. I mean, the IMPC sheets are just character sheets. No. I is uh, over here having Vietnam flashbacks. Dude, it took so long to get some information on. So, like, I got most of the VINPCs. I got information. I got more information from Spanky than I did anyone else. 
Mm -hmm. It was just you saying she won't need to worry about writing the NPC stuff herself since it should be the region slash game master responsibility. Yeah, I mean a lot of the NPCs we're going to have are probably going to be game master made. Um, like there will obviously be core ones like the leader of Eldiria, for example. That will be an NPC write up that's just going to be there. Um, or, you know, the leader of the Mages Guild or the leader of the... Um, Watchers of Dolder, you know, all these different, like, very, very key VI NPCs. Um, beyond that, though, it's probably going to be a lot of uh, DM made ones, which, I mean, you'll have the write up in that case. Up. But NPCs are just such a vital aspect that I'm going to try and get that prioritized so we have guidelines and rules for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, general guidelines for NPCs make them like you would a PC. Just, I'm just going to send Pi a Word document with the word Bob on it, and he has to match what Bob looks like. I can work with that. Just give me a location and where they are. <laughs> like, what are they? Who are they? I can work with that. It's just Bob from accounting. Now, how does Bob kind of look? Oh, That's no. up to you. You now know that they're a devil. Exactly. True. Exact Bob. Anyone from accounting is right. a devil, apparently. They, so, so Bob from accounting uh, is apparently a uh, he is a higher tiered devil that has been bound to serve <laughs> the uh, the emperor of Berugia to make sure that his finances are correct. Uh, what he gets out of the matter is don't worry about it. That's redacted. <laughs> He's just chained to a fucking desk in Berugia and told to work. That's a good point. Uh, anything else to discuss? I have nothing else, so. This is more of a, uh, like I say, anything else to, to note? Or anyone else would like to bring something up? So about that contraband list I requested. Which, which one's this? I know you requested a law one, which is... It, it's, uh, um, works. basically, it's just, uh, a list of illegal substances. Oh, because okay. Because I know for a fact people are going to try to do drug stuff, and I want to have a list of that. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I know that the equipment guide already has a list of illegal uh, items, but I'll be sure to update the list with illegal drugs. Uh, I have one Thank I have you. to make for sure that I'll get to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. And I'm working on the laws. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, that reminds me. Uh, if you have worked on laws for your region... Send them my way so I can add it to the uh, the law document. I'm just yelling at her uh, about it. I yeah, we need some of the other regions filled in still, mm -hmm. but it's in part. All right. Look, look. The number one rule is still use common sense. It's not that hard. No, no, no. That's no, the incredibly difficult. No, the documents. <laughs> that's a, no, 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 no. <laughs> That is incredibly difficult because nobody has common sense. The people who have the least common I, sense are the ones that think they have it. Is is oh, uh, that's pirate is, law? Is necromancy? Yes, necromancy is illegal. Don't don't worry. Just don't get caught, more or less. Hmm. I mean, it's standard and yeah, that's the status on the department and roll cleanup side of things. Besides that, the stuff I'd like to go over was mostly for Elderia Baracia stuff, and if you'd like to give any notes on Elderia that you want to have that isn't flexible to write up, let me know. Particularly, from today's talk, do you have a hard concept for the Elderia Living World main storyline, or was it just some thoughts for it you needed to head it for launch? Yeah, the uh, main storyline of the Elderia campaign... Uh... That is probably something that should be discussed in a mission meeting now that I think about it. Uh, just because... Spoiler alert for players. Yeah, I was right about to say I was like, wait. Oh no. Message me and I'll, I'll, I'll respond. Or uh, we can discuss this in a, a meeting. Which, it's big spoilers, yeah. so I'll message you about it, lol. Yeah. yeah. 
Big spoilers. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, no, I, I need to go through the last, last, last meeting and redact a bunch of stuff from it. Uh, basically, I need to put it into Premiere, do some edits, make sure it's good to go, and then be fine. Yeah. yeah. I need to do that with, uh, with, uh, the, uh, in-person game session that we had for, uh, Rise of the Red Hand as well. Not redacting, but, you know, fixing any sound slaps or whatnot. You know, Snake gets around a lot to killing people, and we should probably put him down. Is getting out of I mean, we're, that's just let's let's add a third uh, leader of a country on our hit list. It's yeah, fine. are you midterms over this week, or did they finish up over the last week? Uh, they should be over because Monday's spring break. If I have any homework due tomorrow, I'm gonna be flipping my shit because spring break's literally starting. So or fall break. Whatever. Sick perfect week to smash out some stuff with you then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, spring, fall, they're basically the same thing because everyone's spoopy and one's not. People ask where NERP is, but people really should be asking when NERP is. <laughs> yeah. Confirmed to secretly be an Australian. I'm sorry, Sky, you've known a hologram all along. <laughs> I mean, enchantment hey. magic, a lot of it is illegal, actually. Stop stop outing Nerp as the a high he truly is. Come on, man. Oh. Stop that. I mean, more like almost dislocated it, but it's fine. I mean, dislocation is almost breaking. It's, it's just in a different way. Yeah. <laughs> like, my, my thumb was really freaking swollen. It looked like it was dislocated, but it's rapidly de-swollen. That was a little weird. Anyways, yeah. anything else to bring up? Anything else to note? Anything else people would like to bring up? Check training, see if we have any uh, new victims. Hmm. Speaking of victims, uh, do we still have uh, that uh, suggestion and feedback form pinned, uh, like in Firehouse or Council General? should uh give it a look over i just remember that it exists so i'm like I, I probably should look it over just make sure that there's nothing else that we need to look through like it is go check train side and... last person is still duke Gotcha, gotcha. All right, no worries. Not pinned there. Me knows maybe. No. Maybe it's just in a Google Drive. I'll have to look at the Google Drive. Firehouse. Nope. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna have to look at the Google Drive. It's fine. Fair, fair. Could have a more uh, technical side of a of RP event meeting. All right. Anyways, seems like for the most part we are pretty much. Oh, there I found the, I found the form. <laughs> Uh, seems like we're pretty much Gouda to go. Um, I have nothing else to discuss. Seems like no one else has anything to bring up. So, uh, that be the meeting. Appreciate everyone's faces, all the help you can provide and all that good stuff. If you need anything to work on, just let me know. I can send things your way. Uh, you can always just check Firehouse as well. We're on my end. 
gun with updates on my progress with regions, departments, and launch. Speaking of which next big thing I'll probably handle is staff review, but I'm going to finish up the current projects. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Uh, and... oh, uh, oh yeah, go ahead. Uh, did you manage to go through the 1DD stuff you liked? That, that you thought was uh, salvageable? No. Uh, that's my to-do list. Also, probably should add a spell jammer to my do list because I know that's a recent book that came out. Then, is I know you were talking about the stuff you wanted to bring up from Ranger, the two weapon fighting changes, and some other stuff for Bard. Yeah, yeah. Got two M's. What am I doing? Oh, I know you're fine. Okay. All right. That's true. I know. Anyways, while well, my cat meows at me, um, seems like that is the meeting. If you guys, you know, need anything, just let me know. Otherwise, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. And, uh, blah, 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 blah.